yes yes massive room crew back once again with another video so guys my akai s950 has suddenly got a, a dodgy floppy disk drive and it's because of all the floppies old floppies have been loading in um and stuff so i'm trying to make a decision now because i've already set up this hxc emulator on here but i've also bought another hxc emulator and that's what i wanted to say actually um okay so these other hx semi so these other ones i've got two things that are different it's got like a turning knob and also a display to show the disc now what i found out recently is that these hxc emulators have got two modes they got one mode right where you can just read the name of the floppy disk straight off the bat that's called normal mode now to do that to do that you need to have a push button here and you also need a display to display the disk name now you wouldn't be able to run normal mode if you were using the regular hxc emulator so you can only use normal mode with this this one has to be used with index mode otherwise it won't work so now i probably want to put the index mode version probably in my 950 and the normal mode version in my s3000xl that was a bit of a winder to get off my chest but yeah so i think that's what i'm going to do i'm going to put a normal hxc emulator in here also, I've got the Eproms I've got to upgrade on this. I bought um, a new set of Eproms for it. And I believe these Eproms will automatically bring the S950 up to 1.2B. So comment down below if you want to see a video with me fitting these Eproms. Um, I think it actually gives it more utilization of the memory because some weird thing has been happening where I've loaded some of my old Akai discs into this new pimped out S950 with the alien green screen. And what I found was for some reason it would get full quicker than the old one. So a, a, a disc that would load, I mean, this is maxed out. It's got how many M words on it? Look, I don't want to turn it on and off too much. Look, 1536 M words, right? So this is fully maxed out but yet my other one that i had years ago was fully maxed out but i get out of memory errors on this one and i can only assume is that the one that i had previously was maybe a later version had a more updated eprom so i'm going to change the eprom on this uh and you know i'm thinking about making a video doing that so comment down below and let me know guys if 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 you'd like to see that so yeah and also what you think shall i put the OLED version in this one. I'm thinking about going to OLED version for all of them because you can get kits as well that will allow you to uh, upgrade, uh, you know, little screens to upgrade. And there's a bit of soldering involved and a bit of faffing about with some flashing, I think. But you, you'd have to get um, like a Greville or Breville, what you call it, like one of them engraving things. So I bought one of those where I used to cut my Akai and you have to literally hack a hole out of here and rig it in. And it's a bit it's a bit of work you know what i mean and because i'd like ideally i'd like to see all of these uh eventually have no floppy i'm going to leave the floppy down here but i'm going to change this because it's knackered now now i do have a spare floppy drive for this one which i can put i've got the uber eats man at the door right guys i'm going to eat my german doner kebab man big up the germans man and now to make doner kebabs that's all i've got to say big up peace out I'm a everyday jungle, it's